So today we are playing Insomnus Experiment. So if you're under the age of, I don't know, probably 35, you've probably heard the, you know, the urban legend of the Russian sleep experiment. So this game is based off of that. So I'm pretty excited about that. I always thought that was one of the creepiest creepy pastas out there. So hopefully this one will live up to how scary the actual story was. Inspired by the Russian sleep experiment, Creepypasta. I swear to God, I did not read that before. Russian researchers in the late 1940s kept five people awake for 15 days using Eric's experimental gas-based stimulant. Okay. Oh, we're hopping right into All right. All righty. Yeah, no, the Russian sleep experiment, I think it's a fan favorite of a lot of people. I don't think I know many people who've been on YouTube for a long time that do not know the story. And I won't lie, for the longest time, like the first time when I heard it, I thought for the longest time that it was very true. And obviously it's not true. I guess it's Hello? Hello? in here but yeah i mean the original story for those of you who don't know um basically if i remember correctly these prisoners get this gas and you know it's all an experiment and they're told that if they comply and basically they take this gas and they stay awake oh hold on a second we kept them for 15 days, breathing that gas, awake. Okay. Well, I'll make this short, because it looks like the game's actually going to do a good job of explaining it. But essentially, these prisoners were offered, you know, their freedom in exchange to partake in this experiment. So I'm just going to leave it there. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the game's going to explain the rest. All right. It's a containment cell, right? Yeah. After five days without sleep, the paranoia started to kick in. The test subjects stopped talking to each other. They whispered to us. Hmm. Yeah, and as you can imagine, Thing just progressively get worse. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so excited that they made a game of this. They should honestly start tackling more creepypastas. There's a lot of good ones out there. I think uh, sci-fi actually made you know a couple creepy pastas in the TV series. I think there was like Candle Cove, and then there was a uh, oh shoot, Nowhere House. That's an awesome one. I, I'm not gonna lie, the series wasn't as fantastic as the actual uh, creepy pasta itself, but it's still pretty cool that they made it. After nine days, one test subject started screaming until his vocal cords broke. Then another one did the same. And then the screaming stopped, as well as the whispers. So far, it's pretty accurate. Whoever made this game did their research. I do not like this at all. Oh, God. Did 
actually don't think these x-rays actually had anything you know interesting to offer i don't think they do oh we're going further down yeah, so if the developer's listening, if you guys could just make more creepypastas into games, that would be absolutely super. Would not complain at all about that. And I'd probably play every single one of your games. Creepypastas hold a very special place in my heart. Be your inside always waiting, watching, seeking your eyes and eyes closed to stay open. One more thing to do, one less moment to sleep. Clock reset, start waiting again. Fall asleep, lose yourself, find what lies beneath the surface, ready, waiting to swallow you all until there's nothing. But at that moment is oh, everything. Keep your shit. eyes open. If they don't close, they okay. can't stop you. The true strength you have lying to see. your wasted potential, your unused life that toils away, falling into a spiral that will be death. You can't stop them. They will find you. There is no way to outrun. Oh, he's them. still going. He's still talking. <laughs> Another box. After three more days, we couldn't see what was inside the room. The test subjects weren't making any sounds either, but we knew they were inside, according to how much oxygen was being consumed. Yeah, so if I remember right, the reason why they can't see inside is because it's gross but as far as i remember they put like blood and i think shit like on the windows so that the, the scientists couldn't see inside so there's a period of time where they just don't know what the fuck is going on and uh well you'll i'm sure they'll bring up what happened Ugh, no don't give me choices Big-ass fucking wheel. Holy shit. Can I do anything? No. Can I go over here? Nope. Okay, cool. To the left it is. Can't crouch. Nope. It's just been too fucking quiet. Box. Also, the nurse. The doctor announced that they will open the chamber to test the microphones. That the people inside need to get on the ground or they will be shot. Then we heard a whisper. We no longer want to be freed. Oh, fuck me. Shit. Yeah, so when they say they no longer want to be freed, they become like addicted to the gas, but it does more than just addiction, it's way worse. And unfortunately, I think we're going to figure out firsthand what it does. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, no, I don't want to run. Oh, fuck. God, I don't, that's a horrible thing. I don't want to see the option to run. Fuck me. The test subject had his abdominal organs removed. The, the doctor was cutting and trying to place the organs back. They were not people anymore. They ate their own flesh, ripped their own organs out. I, I looked at his eyes and his mouth curled into a smile.
hiding. Oh, fuck. Son of a Have you ever thought so easily? We are you. We are the madness that lurks within you all. Begging to be free at every moment in your deepest animal mind. We are what you hide from in your beds every night. We are what you sedate into silence and paralysis when you go to the nocturnal haven where we cannot tread. Holy shit. So yeah, um, I didn't want to say much more during that because I didn't want to give, you know, I didn't know how this was going to end, so I didn't want to ruin anything. But yeah, essentially they become possessed or whatever, and they literally don't want to fall asleep because if they fall asleep, they will die. Um, as it kind of alluded to, basically the scientists and security guards decide that they need to put an end to it. It's unethical. These people are suffering. So they go in, and I'll be honest, I can't actually remember the ending. I want to say they go in there and just shoot all of them. But to be honest, I feel it's a little scarier than that. So I guess if you were that interested, you'll just have to go and watch the Creepypasta yourself. The game, though, is actually really close to what the Creepypasta was. I mean, there were so many elements in it that actually were direct quotes from it. So yeah, this is a Russian experiment game, and I think that's super fucking cool. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave you with that. Check out that video if you want. If the developers listening, like I said, just to reiterate, if you could make, oops, sorry, if you could make some more creepypasta-based games, I personally will play them. That would be awesome. All right, so I'll stop. I'll I won't keep you any longer. See you next time. Thank you for hanging out with us, and have a great day.